El talismán de tu piel me ha dicho que soy la reina. Me, big fat lazy and easy going. I actually remember my first guitar and I still own it. It was part of my birthday present, but the first one originally broke. So I got an electric, which is my proper first guitar. And yeah, I plan on fixing it to a usable level once again. And it should be good. can't remember this one. <laughs> a long time ago, I think my first ever gig was possibly with Mystic Mountain and no, Soul Survivors we were called at, at the time and I think it may have been either Gasa or Rob Nelson's jam session. Uh, it's in the process. Give me three months with Charlie Moore and I think he'll teach me some things. My first, my favourite performance on stage in Gibraltar is possibly, I don't know, the, I liked the Rock a Light concert where we played with all those Christian bands. <laughs> there were some good bands there and it was quite an enjoyable gig. And it was the first time we played with Melamind on a big stage of some sort or another. So that's probably one of the most memorable ones in Gibraltar. And then in the UK, Probably has to be one, the one where we supported the King Blues, which not many people know, but it's a band that you should all check out. Oh, my worst gig? I don't remember, but my bandmates do. And it was after the beer festival last year, where I don't remember a fucking thing that I played, but apparently I didn't play much. Influences that aren't local, like loads, but I, I enjoy Nirvana, the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, a bit of everything. You have to keep an open mind. Usual. Ah, I can't really pick uh, either of the genres because I enjoy them both, but if I had to pick one of them, it'd probably have to be rock. Hopefully, if the things go well and to plan, I, I should have a band going during the summer and we should grace the stage and perform my songs with a band. So, uh, I think it's probably one of the obvious ones, but I, I'd have to say my good friend Jack, because it's a memorable song, although I don't remember the events. I'm usual, it was a fun, fun band and I enjoyed it all, but it was short lived because well, two of our members were at uni so we both had to fuck off back to England and it all fell to pieces. First, my first gig ever was Shaggy and I think, if I recall correctly, he was supported by a few local bands, but I don't remember who they were. I've seen the pictures, though. <laughs> First local concerts got to be Mel and Diesel at the fair, I think it was 99. It's a pretty good gig, actually. Awful. That was a stop counting. Real bands or how many bands I've been on stage with? I think last time I counted it was about 11. <laughs> Five years is a long time away. Well, not really, it's around the corner. But probably in five years I'll be back in Gibraltar. Unless I'm elsewhere doing other things. Get wasted. Now, uh, for the future, in the near future, I plan to finish my degree and come back for the summer to get some money and then don't know what I'm doing after the summer. Maybe venture back to England or stay in Gibraltar for a bit. I don't really have a best album that I ever bought, but if I had to pick one, I don't know, 
Quite like, I know it's a completely obs well, not obscure that you probably not suspect me to say, but I quite like O by Damon Rice. Good friend Jack, no? <laughs> My second home, and the place where I'd most like to get pissed. I wish I could take it to UK with me. Uh, well, just did life scene, went through a bad patch, then it rose once again, and then I think slowly but surely, Casemates is fucking off like music, and it's slowly not dying because we've keeping it alive here at Rock on the Rock, but it'd be good to get a few more venues in Gibraltar that bands could play. I've been sick.